What's going on everybody? Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. I'm going to take you along for the diagnosis of an inoperative blower motor on a 2015 Dodge Caravan. Guys, I already got this car diagnosed. I'm going to show you quickly how I went about my procedure here. Two things before we get started, everybody. If you're not capable, if you don't have a good understanding of basic electricity and uh, safety precautions and understanding how to use a fuse circuit, do not watch the rest of this video. I'm not responsible for you guys messing something up. Be careful out there. Make sure you know what you're doing. Number two, uh, I love making videos and part of the fun thing of making these videos is I get to look back at what I did and what I could have done better. So keep an open mind to what you might have done different and at the very end of this video, I'm talking after the video stops or where you think it's going to stop, um, I'll hop back on right here and I'm going to discuss a few things that I think I could have done differently. So let's go. So uh, first off, if you're ever working on anything, always take a look at all the trouble codes. I am uh, lucky enough to be using YTech here, so I will show you that there are some updates for the HVAC control module. As you see here, uh, if we go to flash, there are some updates. Um, they don't have anything to do with our particular situation, I can tell you that, but I'm probably going to go ahead and sell an update along with what I found here. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the codes that we have. We click on all DTCs. You can see that we do have a, a few things going on uh, that are all stored. All these codes are stored, nothing's pending, so I'm not too concerned with that. Now taking a look at the tolling integrated power module, I know this from past experience, but we can take a look over here and see this blower motor um, gets its power and ground from the blower motor power module. It's like a blower motor control module, uh, but we also have uh, this blower motor uh, power. There's a control circuit and there's a power circuit. I'm concerned with this power circuit and that comes up from our tip. -um. Let me go ahead and show you that over here, going all the way up to our totally integrated power module. This comes directly from our, our tip. -um. So using a scan tool, we can go ahead and make sure that this uh, tip -um is commanding this. So we're gonna go back into our, where to go here, my y -Tech. I'm gonna go down to my tip -um. And in the totally integrated power control module, under data, we can actually use a search function of YTEC, makes life easier. Many scan tools are going to be like this. And if I could spell right, you would see it. It was there. There we go. It says the blower motor supply is active. So I'm going to show you what I did here. I located this blower motor control module. That's up here. These two wires go directly to the blower motor itself right here. So you can see they will go right into the blower control module. And then this blower control module has a power that should be hot nearly all the time. That's going to be this blue wire and then the ground. There's also a control wire, which I'm moving my finger. This is the control circuit that goes to the HVAC head. Uh, so you can see that we have this. I have no voltage whatsoever on this blue wire. Now, if you look at the diagram, this dark blue wire comes directly from the totally integrated power control module. So right from our tip -um, we should have uh, at connector 6 terminal 1, which I went ahead and I got a diagram because I wasn't sure where that was. Here's a, a diagram of that connector end view. You can see terminal 1 right here is our blower motor supply, and that's going to be up in this corner. So taking a look at the tip -um itself, I got this pried up a little bit. We are into the corner there on that blue wire. You may not be able to see, but that is the blue wire, and we don't have any juice coming out. So we know for a fact we've got a problem with the tip -um. Now, one thing I do sometimes to verify that, I'm gonna get my fuse jumper here. We're gonna go ahead and take our fuse jumper wire. We're hooking this battery positive. Guys, if you don't know how to do this, don't do it. You gotta make sure you're using a fuse. I have a 15 amp fuse in this jumper wire, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attach this to my lead here and I'm gonna make sure let's go ahead and turn off our blower real quick turn it all the way off I'm just gonna go ahead and back probe this in here I'm hoping you guys can see into the blue into the blue circuit so I do have this back probed into the blue circuit that's coming supposed to come from the tip -um. and now if I turn the blower on We do have a uh, blower motor activation, so we definitely have ourselves a bad tip -um here. Guys, if you don't understand how to diagnose this and you want to learn more about this type of stuff, be sure to check out Hands-On Auto Training on the membership site, the core membership, 10 bucks a month. 
I do have a lot of great electrical training to help you get better at troubleshooting these type of problems. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Now, one thing I failed to mention is I did check all the fuses uh, in a tip them. I just buzz through them real fast with my, my voltmeter when I'm doing this type of work. So I took care of that. But what I want to show you here is my thought process on what I could have done better or to verify there was no other issues. And, you know, like I said, playing Monday quarterback is always fun. I like learning how I could do better. And, you know, maybe I'll get it next time. So uh, this is all data here. We've got ourselves uh, uh, all data. This is the color uh, diagram in all data. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and we're going to show you that back to this situation over here, we've got this uh, blower motor feed, okay? The, this is our power that was coming from the tip -em. This is where we jumpered our battery positive to right there, and the blower motor works. So we know we either have an open circuit or a power supply issue, uh, which the power comes from the tip -em on this. Now, there is a connector uh, that could be corroded or something like that. We don't know. And the reason uh, I, I wasn't worried about that is because going back to the blower motor control connector, uh, connector 6, uh, terminal number 1, we didn't have any voltage right here. Uh, being that we don't have any voltage output with that command in the TIPM on, uh, we know there's something wrong with the TIPM. Now, I don't know, could there be a, uh, another issue, uh, open circuit or something like that going on? Well, here's what I think. If I would have jumpered my fuse battery positive to right here, if I went from battery positive, oop, we didn't want that. If I jump her from some battery positive that's hot all the time, you know, the battery positive, right to uh, this uh, terminal where I was back probed, we would have verified the integrity of this entire circuit. Uh, that would have probably been the better uh, route to do it. I don't know why I didn't. Now, I'm pretty confident we don't have a short to ground or anything in this circuit because I did jumper uh, battery positive here with the fuse lead and it did not blow. So if my uh, fuse jumper lead would have blown or if I touched it and uh, we got a giant spark or something, I'd be like, okay, there's something else going on. We probably got a short to ground in this circuit and that could have put the totally integrated power module into like a uh, protective mode or shutdown mode to keep it safe. But I would think that the command might not be on then in the tip -em. So if something comes about this vehicle and I get called back because the tip -em doesn't take care of it, I'll let you know. But I'm pretty confident that we're on the right track here. So thanks a lot for taking the time to watch. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to let me know. Um, and uh, comment in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about this. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.